Hello investors. I hope all of you had a fantastic day. A lot of the picks from yesterday did really well today. Today, I had a 6.2% return, positive gain. So that is pretty terrific. This marks three days in a row that I posted a positive return. And if you had the stocks that were picked yesterday, you should have had a nice return today. Also, probably not that good, and I can explain what I did different that really uh, made the difference today. So far, this year, I'm up 223.99%, and that is way above my 200% goal that I had at the beginning of the year, and getting pretty close to my 2019 record, which is 232% return. Today, one way that I hit such a big number and how I was able to get that 6.2% return is I day traded KODK. There was some big news that came out of that and I saw it in pre-market and it showed up in my pre-market scanners for day trading. I was able to ride that for a 39.80% gain. It took about 25 minutes. Pretty good return for that amount of time. I was able to buy it at $5 a share and I thought I would just start sharing exactly what I bought it at and what I sold it at. So I bought it at $5 a share and I sold it at $6.99 a share. It did go up from there, but I follow my rules and my rules get me a gain. I don't veer from those rules and I highly recommend if you are going to day trade, you have to have a strategy and you have to implement that strategy with absolutely no emotion at all. We do not hold and hope. That's something I'm going to talk about here in just a little bit. It's imperative if you invest this way that you don't hold and hope. Bought it at $5, sold it at $6.99, was a great return and felt really good about it. I only had one sell today, and this was this afternoon. I sold BAC for a 1% loss. Now, the reason why I did, and I normally wouldn't do this, but there are so many opportunities coming available, and I had spread my money too thin, so I was wanting to be in something that had a better return, I thought, for it. This one really wasn't moving, and so that was the reason why I decided to sell it early. Usually, I would hold a position like this three to five days since insider activity. I veered from that just so I can have money available to take advantage of something really good. I want to talk about some things I look for when I'm day trading. These are some of the rules that I put together. You can make day trading safe and you might be asking yourself uh, everything I've been taught says that day trading is super risky and yes it is if you don't have a plan you have to have a plan if you have a plan you can actually make day trading safe if you have ways to preserve your capital and you follow those rules and you can separate yourself from the emotion of day trading you can make money let me just talk about three of my rules first thing is number one only buy into the best setups. What do I mean by that? Well, buy stocks that are surging or have good news that also have the indicators showing that it's going to go up. I like to wait for three green bars and watch for my EMA line to pass my SMA line. And if you have no idea what I am talking about, please check out my entry point video. It goes into it very clearly. You might want to check that one out. I think that's a really good resource. So only buy into the best setups. If it's not a good setup and if it doesn't possess the things that at least I look for an entry point, if it doesn't possess those things, I will not enter no matter what. I will stay out of it. I don't care how much people tell me it's going to go up. No matter what, if it doesn't have a good setup, I'm not in it. So that's rule number one. Rule number two, and I've talked about this many, many times, you have to trade without emotion. If you are going to day trade, you have to have zero emotion. If you see those things that are deprecating on the stock price, and you see those things that are the exit points, so check out my exit point video. If you see those things, you have to get out no matter what, no matter if you're down, sometimes you lose money with this, but if you follow the steps that I follow, you will not lose as you do that. So you have to trade without emotion, no matter what. You know when to go in and when to go out. You have a specific strategy and you stick to it. If you can't do that, I do not recommend investing this way, period. I just wouldn't. Number three, you know how and when to exit a trade. I talk about how to sell a runner. That shows what I look for when I'm trying to sell a stock. And I also recommend starting in a simulator. I would say if you're gonna day trade, and this is a really good tip, if you're gonna day trade, Weeble by far is the best. And here's why. 
You can trade as early as 3 o'clock in the morning Central Time. You can trade as late as 7 p.m. Central Time, and that makes a big difference. I highly suggest having a margin account with them. I don't use margin, but I have a margin account with them. And a lot of times you can take advantage of all those buyers coming onto the market at 6 a.m. Central Time. The Schwabs and the TD Ameritrades and all of that. You can also take advantage of the big funds coming into effect. That's 8 o'clock Eastern when those funds start trading, and you can also get a big surge then. So. Being able to trade so early in the morning is a huge advantage, and that's why I recommend Webull. And if you are looking for free stocks, please check out the link below. That's a great way to add it. It's a very powerful broker. Highly recommend it. It's really good. If you are not making money and you're struggling in stocks and you're wanting to do better and you're looking for a good group to be a part of, check out our Patreon group down below. I highly recommend it. The members of that group are banking big money and we're doing well. We do well just about every day. See, that's the thing. We minimize our risk and buy into certain kind of setups and buy certain kind of catalysts. It's been a very good group. I know that the members on that have been enjoying it, that's for sure, and I know I have been too. It's been really a lot of fun for me. So check that out. It's a really good thing to get into. All right, well, let's get to the top seven list, which if I keep going and buying stocks and never selling them, it's gonna to need to be the top 10 list. <laughs> right now I have three stocks that are not in the top seven, and the reason is they're great, but they're not as great as the ones in the top seven. And so I'm gonna explain why. The first one that's not in there is LEVI. This was way up on the list and it surged today, it did really good. It's had multiple insider buys by a director and you would think it'd be higher on my list. Well, it's great. I think it's a great investment. I think it's gonna go way up from where it's at. I haven't sold it, I'm still holding it, but it's just not quite as good in my opinion for tomorrow. Number two is LPCN. LPCN has an August 28th PDUFA date, and I am already up in this, and anyone who bought it at the time when I started to recommend the stock is up in it also, pretty nicely, you know, about 12, 13%, and it's got a lot further to go. LPCN's a great stock, it's just, it's PUFA date isn't until the 28th of August, so it's a little far away, so it's the only reason why it's out of the top seven. Number one, ASA. This showed up on the list a couple days ago, it's doing well. I'm personally up in it about 6%. If any of you bought on it at the time when I recommended it and you were part of the Patreon group, you got notification of that right away, and you should be sitting around five and 7% up on it, depending upon how good a job you did on entering it. But ASA had insider activity by Alexander Merck, who's the chief operating officer. ASA still has more to go. And I think as investors go to safe stocks and go to safe money, this is precious metals and I expect gold to continue to climb. That is why I liked that ASA Insider in the first place, so I think it's got a lot further to go. Let's get to the top seven. Okay, here we go. Number seven is TTOO. TTOO, I have had a love-hate relationship with, and <laughs> there were two articles that came out today. One was with Seeking Alpha that was extremely bullish and really made the case for this stock to be bullish, which I've been talking about being bullish for a long time. And then also a Zach's article that was also extremely bullish, and I highly recommend you check out both. Both were really good. They both showed up on the market today. I'm expecting TTOO to have blockbuster earnings. Now is not the time to sell. <laughs> I just think that this is a stock that's worth well over $4 a share, and we are waiting for FDA approval for a adaptation of their test, and also they've already gotten FDA approval for their sepsis test, which is so important. And each one of those machines cost about $100,000, and I'm expecting them to report that they sold quite a few of them. So TTOO could have a blockbuster earnings, and so this is just not the time to get out. This is the time to hold through. So that's what I'm gonna do. Number six is FENC. FENC has an August 10th PDUFA date. It's for a hearing loss drug, and I think it's extremely marketable. FENC has not climbed yet. It is a good time to get in. It has not had that run up yet. I expect next week is when we'll really start to see it go nuts. It's a great stock to own if you don't already own it. Number five is T, AT&T. They had a gigantic $3 million insider purchase by a director, Stephen Luzko. And why I find that so bullish is, is that this is not the time for dividends. This purchase is timed kind of strange. I like it. And I think it's a really great value. I don't think it should be $29 a share, that's for sure. I think that's way undervalued. 
AT&T makes a lot of money, so that is a terrific buy for that type of stock, especially since it's got a 7% dividend rate, and this is one I have on my dividend portfolio. Anyway, very safe, good dividend stock. It's already up about 1% since I recommended it on the list yesterday. I'm expecting it to climb a lot further, and so there's lots of room to go on that. I think it could hit $35 to $40 a share, and that's really where it should be. Number four is VSAT, V-S-A-T. VSAT had a $100 million insider by the Bopost Group, and I think I said that right, probably said it wrong. But anyway, it was very bullish. It was the price me or you would pay in open market, and so for a 10% owner to do that, I think is kind of huge. It's up a little bit for us so far. It had a pretty good day today, finished about 3% up. I think there's a lot more room to go. Number four is VSAT, so very good. Number three. Number three is brand new to the list, so I called this out immediately on the Patreon group. I highly recommend you check out that group. It will make you money. This was called out today, and it's ACER. ACER is way up for us. It really surged today, and I expect it to surge a lot more tomorrow. The president and CEO, the chief legal officer, and two directors bought shares this morning, and they bought a lot of shares. They aren't messing around. So ACER, I think, is a stock that's really going to climb. Already doing well with it. I expect to do extremely well with it. It's one that you should get into before it really climbs. Number two is ONCT. And this one's been on the list for a couple days and I'm sitting around 14% up in it. Yeah, I think it's gonna go further. First of all, I became interested in this stock because of insider buying. So there was insider buys by a director and legal counsel. Now, guess what? Tomorrow, they have a conference. So they have a press conference coming out at one o'clock. So at one o'clock, they have some sort of announcement. Okay, well, now, I'm not much of a detective, but insider buying by a director and legal counsel, and then a press conference. I think that might be a good stock to buy. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you haven't gone into this stock yet, I'm expecting great things by that press conference tomorrow, and I would say get in now. That one I'm expecting to climb. We shall see how it does. And then number one. It's number one because it deserves to be number one. It continues to be number one, up in it almost 40%. Uh, loving this stock and it just still has so much further to go and that is TRVN. So TRVN has an August 7th PDUFA date so that is coming up. It's surging and I think it's going to surge more because it, that is not the only reason why people are buying into this stock. They also have a drug that really helps with blood clots and with what's going on in the world right now I think that that is something that's really important. So that is number one TRVN continues to surge. I do a lot of work for this list if you could please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. And then if you would share this video with your friends, I would so appreciate that. Also, if you're seeing this for the first time and you're like, who's this guy talking about stocks? Oh, I kind of like him. Or maybe you don't like me. I don't know. But if you could subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so that you get the reasoning behind the different picks that we have each and every day. If you are looking for a powerful broker, I mentioned it before, but I highly recommend Webull for those early market and aftermarket hours. You can get a free stock by signing up and then you get another free stock when you deposit money. And so check out that link down below. That'd be a great place to do it. I appreciate all of you. I really enjoy talking with all of you each and every day. I hope that we continue to have a great week. I'm expecting great things. Raytoven out.